every villain has an origin story. Every villain doesn't start off evil. Well, at least most of them don't. When you check any type of story, any type of literature, any type of movie that has an antagonist, usually the villain has a pretty cool upbringing or maybe their up their character is lighthearted, a good person. And then maybe their circumstances changes them. Maybe they get bullied. Maybe they lose a loved one. And then they go rogue. It happens all the time. And, and sometimes that villain re like reveals why they are. Well, you know, why they think the way they think, why they act the way they act. And you can sometimes empathize with them just a little bit. You still know they ain't up to no good. But for that split second of them explaining why they are, what, why they become what they've become, you care just a little bit. That is what MJF did tonight. And we got to talk about it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I know I didn't get to stream AEW Dynamite tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. I have been swamped with videos for the main page, and uh, I'm trying to get some content ready for you guys on my personal page. And I was just tired, man. I've just been running at a thousand miles an hour, so I, I literally just needed some time to recharge my batteries. But I woke up, went to Twitter, and uh, I saw some of you guys talking about this amazing promo by MJF. So I had to check it out on YouTube. And one of the comments that really struck me with me, and it kind of goes into my intro in this video, is usually every great villain doesn't start off as a villain. They usually turn into that because of circumstances. And MJF pretty much revealed why his character is what it is now. Why he is a heel. And I love it. I will say this MJF CM Punk feud is fantastic. In the sense of they are telling stories with their promos alone that have you wanting to see their match. And it's not just, you know, they they add layers to it. And this is why I can appreciate what they are doing right now. Because MJF won the first match. And I'll use one loosely here. He cheated as a heel should. And they're setting up the second match to be even more intense. Which I can't wait to check out. But they threw a curveball here. Last week. CM Punk showed a photo, a real photo of MJF meeting him at like a fan meet and greet when he was a kid. MJF comes out, has nothing to say. One of the, I think the first time ever in AEW history, he has nothing to say. He comes out this week with a heartfelt message. Like he's breaking down in tears. He's selling this. He is selling this like no one else should be able to. He's selling this promo segment. And it, it, it comes off genuine. It's like he breaks his gimmick, his heel-like gimmick to show you why he acts the way he acts. Why is he the way that he is? And I love this because the crowd is trying to shit on him. Obviously, he's a heel. They don't care. But by the end of this whole promo segment... He had a lot of people in there cheering. There was still some boos, but he had a lot of people in there giving him a damn near standing ovation because of what he was saying in the ring and how CM Punk was truly his hero. And you believe that. Talking about him joining the football team and getting picked on. Football team throwing quarters at him. Feeling like he didn't belong. Feeling like he didn't fit in. I think all of us not all of us. Maybe some of you guys went to school. Y'all were the cool kids. I wasn't necessarily a cool kid. People knew who I was because of people I associated with. But I wasn't just Mr. Popular. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just have all the girls back then. You know? So, and you know, I got made fun of as well. I got picked on and bullied as well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids go through that. And he was telling us about that. Really diving into why he is the way he is 
And when CM Punk left wrestling, that's when he was like, no, I don't want to be the best in the world like CM Punk. I want to be the best in the world in spite of CM Punk because he left us when we needed him the most. And I love that. This is great, bro. This is so good because he's coming off as a baby face in his promo because he's opening up. But he, he's still a piece of shit heel. Don't get it twisted. And CM Punk comes outside, comes out to the ring, confronts him. No microphone, which I like. No microphone came out and was like, is this true? Is this real? Is this how you really felt? And I like that MJF didn't say nothing. It's, and it's it's giving me the vibes of him being able to open up about his how he really feels about CM Punk and why he is the way he is. But it's a way to lure CM Punk in with his kindness, with his empathy. And I love that. I love that. I, I do think this is a nice little work. I don't think he's turning face. But I do think this is a way to, storyline-wise, get CM Punk to let his guard down just a little bit. But everything he said probably comes off, storyline-wise, real. And I love that. This is how you set up a match, another match with somebody there's a lot of times you see and i have to use wwe's example because they are they are really they they do this a lot we'll have a nice segment a nice lead up to uh, two people in their very first match and you know you want to continue it you know you want to continue the feud it's usually never a one and done thing so we get the second match but the feud hasn't intensified like you would think it should it's it's kind of formulaic it doesn't come off as a, a next level in their feud it just comes off leveled out the same way like their first match here we started off here at a pretty decent level and now we're at this point before the match and i'm we're not sure how how high this 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 feud this rivalry will go and in my opinion some of you may disagree even before this promo i did think mjf should still win this match but after this promo for sure he should definitely win this match and he should be at some point this year the aew champion bro i know some people want adam cole to maybe dethrone adam hangman page but I don't think it's time for Adam Cole. Adam Cole will have his time for sure. I just don't think it's time because of all the other stuff he has potentially going on with the, you know, the Young Bucks, his crew. Like there's a lot of, a lot of decision making he has to make. So I don't think it's his time yet. I don't. I think if anyone drops the belt to anybody, it gotta be MJF. It's, this is his time this is his year and cm punk can definitely help him become that star in the company because i'm gonna be honest with you cm punk is not there to be the top guy he's not no uh if he was to come back to be the top guy it kind of he kind of plays into what he didn't like about wwe coming back to be the top guy to ultimately take someone's potential you know spot he wants to be able to enhance and elevate all these great talent. And he's doing that with MJF. We all knew MJF was very talented on the mic. And he's pretty good in the ring, in my opinion. He, he, he has the wrestling psychology down. He has it down pat. But CM Punk is here to help other talent get over. So you can have your, you know, not even your, a new CM Punk. You can have your MJFs. You can have your Darby Allens, these household names in the industry where fans could get behind them just like they did with CM Punk. And I love that. I think CM Punk well, should lose this match, put him over, and that would ultimately catapult, storyline-wise in my mind and in the fans' eyes, it should catapult him to potentially being a number one contender, in my opinion. And CM Punk can take a loss. It's C. M Punk, bro. He's not out here getting squashed. He can take a loss because people are going to love the fact that CM Punk is still wrestling in 2022. People didn't think he would ever come back to wrestling. He's wrestling. 
He will always be cheered. He can always take a loss here. And MJF did his thing, bro. MJF did his thing on this segment. He is arguably the best heel in the business. Still think he's a heel. And he is the best promo damn near in the business. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I can listen to MJF be an asshole all day because he knows he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys watch this segment? Did you guys enjoy this segment? Did you guys actually start to feel just a little bit of sympathy from what uh, MJF was saying? Just a little bit. And are you guys looking forward to their future match? And who do you guys think should win? Do you think it should be CM Punk get his win back? Or do you think MJF should get a win over CM Punk again and potentially be the new AEW champion sometime this year? Let me know, man. Uh, it, it's I don't talk about AEW outside of the streams and sometimes interaction with you guys on social media. And I make, make videos like this. But when I make a video like this, that's how you know I, I really enjoyed what I saw. And... I want you guys to be able to get my thoughts and opinions on what I saw. So def best believe I'm looking forward to where they take this feud because this is this is some good some good entertaining shit, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Roll two. 70k, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.